Send help, Lord, send revival. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Janina Amapola, and if this is your first time seeing my face, here's my face. Here's what it looks like. So, you guys, we made it to 2021. As we all know, 2020 was rough, and it doesn't seem like 2021 starting out that great either. So. And I'm just praying that America can get its ish together in 2021. Please, Lord Jesus. So, uh, yeah, a lot's been going on in my life, you guys. I'm going to be transitioning very soon back home. So stay tuned for moving vlogs and everything of that sort. Make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel and this channel as well because I'm going to be doing a home tour and decorating and everything of that sort. I'm so excited. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that but that's why i've been so absent is because i have been house hunting like crazy it's taken me a lot longer than i was expecting but anyway uh i wanted to let you guys know that part of today's video will be sponsored by fabletics as well um i've worked with this company for now two years i love them so much and in today's video i want to talk about all the products that got me through 2020 my favorite best products from 2020 anything from skincare clothing books food makeup everything so i'm curious what products got you through 2020 but here are mine and i i personally love watching this video so i hope you guys enjoy this as well let's just get right into it and i hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's do it as we all know 2020 was really and I made an entire podcast on my podcast, Happy and Healthy, talking about everything that 2020 taught me, the good and the bad, my hopes for 2021. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be linked down below. If you don't know, I started a podcast during quarantine. It was the biggest blessing I did, so I'm really thankful for it. But if you guys want to check that out, it's down below. But let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Okay, makeup wise, I have three products. So lipsticks, I'm a big neutral girl. Um, it's hard to find ones that I personally really like with my skin color. These were my two ride or die. Now, it's not like I went to like a crap ton of places this year, but when I film or when I'm doing brand deals or whatever, I like to be done up. So these are the two products I love. This one is from Honest Beauty. It's in their shade BFF. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This one tastes really bad. It smells really bad, but the color is beautiful. I wouldn't say it lasts the longest, like if you're eating or drinking, but it does last if you're just wearing it so I love this shade on me but just beware the smell she ain't cute next is this one from covergirl now it completely faded away this is in the shade insider now this is what I'm wearing currently it's the most perfect shade for my skin color so if you have a skin color like me this one's beautiful this one is like a nice matte it doesn't smace smaced I was gonna say taste or smell <laughs> smace works too actually no this one does not smell good either I don't, it gives me like an instant headache can't they just make these smell good I don't know however these are my favorite shades this one lasts a long time and they're just a nice good nude the next makeup product that I love and that got me through quarantine is the Tarte Shape Tape now I rediscovered this product this product is bomb so I don't use foundation normally I am using a Tarte one today but for my under eyes pimples you know highlighting all that stuff this is the best it lasts it's great coverage it's not too cakey it doesn't crease like crazy on me it's just by far my favorite favorite concealer and it's in the shade medium 35 n if you have not tried Tarte shape tapes concealers yet please do yourself a favor they're so good okay random accessory that I freaking love this year was just scrunchies overall I know those like made a comeback but honestly they just make sense because other ones pull your hair and they crease it really badly I personally love the cute little ones I got these from anthropology and I love these these ones are great because they actually hold my hair my hair does not fall out I love to do a low bun and like wrap it around twice and this is great it's also kind of just like a cute little arm accessory like they're not ugly and they're just a like, good elastic like it's not a cheap one so I got these from anthropology I just love these like when I work out whenever I just pull my hair back and a low bun or literally whatever obviously if you're using a ribbon these are just great so definitely check these out these have just been staple for me and they're really cute on your arm so two things fitness wise that got me through quarantine were one the whitney simmons app the alive by whitney app got me through quarantine like truly i made a whole video reviewing it trying it out doing it i'm still doing it i'm on the alive inside 2.0 app but during quarantine like the gyms were shut so i would work out here every single day and i didn't like i was running out of things to do and i was like i don't know what to do so 
Her program seriously saved me during quarantine fitness wise. Like I love to work out. I love the gym and that being taken from us was just so sad. Um, obviously I know there's like a lot more harder things that people are going through than the gyms being shut. Just want to preface that. This really helped me so, so, so much during quarantine. So I definitely recommend you guys check this out. If you guys don't know like what to do, if you're at the gym or you're like, I just want something new, check out my video where I reviewed it, showed everything. And then also you can download the app. The next thing is Fabletics. Okay, so I've used Fabletics products now for three years and some of my favorite leggings that got me through quarantine are their sculpt knit ones. These are the green ones. These make your butt look freaking amazing. Like these are some of my favorite pairs or anything sculpt knit pretty much. These are also the sculpt knit ones. These ones are a little bit different. They're a little bit longer. They go a little bit higher. But again, the sculpt knit leggings make the booty. Just go and your thighs, just everything just sucks in. I also absolutely love their power hold leggings, but these ones are high waisted and squat proof. Both of these are squat proof and these are just super, super comfy to work out in and lounge in. But for January, I wanted to show you guys some of the January pieces because they have some cute pieces as well. So I wanna show you guys those. And do not forget, when you guys join as a VIP member, you can get any two bottoms for $24, 50% off everything else and free shipping when you join as a VIP member. They're also now launching new styles every single Thursday, which is a lot of work, a lot of work. So check back every single Thursday for new styles. They also just released their new app called Fabletics Fit. So VIP members will now have more ways to save money, but also you guys will get free access to the Fabletics Fit app where they hired some of the top trainers, top instructors to give you guys the best workouts for the VIP members. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. The link is down below. So those are the Fabletics pieces. And so check that out down below. And thank you again to Fabletics for sponsoring this video. Okay, I'm just gonna be trying on a couple pieces from January so you guys can see the selections from this month if you guys want to pick anything up. Let's do it. Okay, so Fabletics also dropped these new leggings right here. These are the Boost leggings. And they're super flattering, high rise. They also have max compression. And also it gives you a nice booty boost for your most streamlined silhouette. These are some of my most favorite leggings. So I told you guys, love these. Here's the first set. I love a black set. That's what it looks like. Super cute. And then these are the new Boost leggings. Look how cute that pattern is. And these look so flattering. Okay, this next set, I'm pretty sure it's from the Liza Koshi collection, but oh my gosh, I love the high neckline, the color, just everything. It's so freaking cute. Probably my favorite top of this collection and from this month, Liza crushed it. It's very comfy, but it still has good support. Here's what the leggings look like. Very flattering. Okay, the next set, I love this one. These sports bras are some of my favorite because they make the boobs look great and they have such good support. These are the Pure Luxe leggings which have pockets. They feel like butter. Also some of my favorite leggings. Love the way they fit. These ones also have a cute, <laughs> struggling. And they have a cute detail here at the bottom that matched the top. Love this set as well. Nothing just beats a nice classic black set to me, so I love this one. Also, Fabletics always has some cute crop tops. I love this one, it's super soft and it's still breathable, so when you're working out, you're not dying. And then they also released this, ow, which hit my elbow, this cute little puffer jacket. So I love their puffer vest. I use their all black one too. These are the last things I wanted to show you guys. Okay, skincare wise, there was so many different products I used this year because companies do send me things. But as far as like pimples and breakouts, these are the products I love that have been working for me. So first it's the Mighty Patch. I have one for dark spots and also for pimples. My skin scars so easily, it's actually really annoying. Like I have one right here, you can't see it because of my foundation, but I scar really easily. So I need things that can help with that. And also this company called Zit Sticka. This is also their dark spot clarifying patch. They also have pimple ones. Both these companies, if you need like an overnight fix or whatever, definitely check these out. They're pretty affordable. I think this one's a little bit more expensive, but these ones you can get at Target. Bomb products. And with COVID and all the roller coaster of emotions this year, pimples were everywhere. Hormones were off. 
help me Jesus, breakouts left and right. These were definitely a game changer, so check these out. So as you might have seen, the gold chunky hoops really, really just like popped off in the last two years. I mean, I'm wearing some right now. These are from Anthropology. That was something I really, really loved in 2020. I never really used to wear jewelry like that, but I just gained like a new level of confidence this year where I was like, I don't care. And I had like five pairs of gold earrings I would constantly rotate in between like these ones and I have some here. I'm gonna link all my favorite ones down below that were my ride or dies this year because I really, really love the gold trend, the gold chunky hoop trend this past year. Before I was like, that's kind of tacky, but then I don't know, something shifted and like obviously here we are wearing some and I love them. So I'm gonna list my favorite ones for you guys down below because I, I'm pretty sure I wore gold chunky hoops almost every single day like if it weren't those i was using my my pearls so it's one of the two so check out the ones i will have linked down below for you guys. okay two kind of random ones are bras and you're probably like the fuck no let me tell you because okay with covid we were all lounging around we were chilling in our houses no one wants to wear a real bra which i'm wearing one right now and i'm like why am i not wearing a bra that well i guess because it's in my hands but i wanted to be as comfy as possible so i have two bras that i want to show you guys that were like ride or dies for me when i was lounging around needed some comfort these were them so the first one is from this company called um nyx Nyx actually sent me these and I I literally was like, this is such a grandma bra, but oh my gosh. Once you wear this, you cannot go back. The most comfortable bra, seamless. Like I would sleep in this thing because I loved it so much. The padding is really nice. It is so comfortable and it's nude. So it's not like peeking through your sweaters or your tops or anything. Like I wore one, this almost every single day, like unless I was wearing something that required a real bra. These are so unbelievably comfy. I'm, t I'm telling you now, thank me later. Once you purchase this, you will not go back. Another one is that if I wanted to be a little bit more cute, was just black bralette. So I have two, but this is one of them. I, I believe I got this from Urban Outfitters. Just a super cute little black bralette that clasps in the back. What's so important to me is when it does clasp in the back because that way, like if I'm wearing a sweatshirt like this and I'm about to go to sleep or I don't wanna wear it anymore, just take it off. You just slip it through your arms and you don't take your sweater off. So I love these. Just comfort for the girlies is everything. Like the girlies, they just wanna relax. Like let them relax a little bit. And these did that. So I'll have these like down below for you guys. But definitely check these out if you want full on comfort for ya girlies. So other things that got me through 2020 were my AirPods. Now I got this cute little case, which I actually love, but I ended up getting the AirPod Pros this year because my other ones, I accidentally washed and dried them. Yay, don't be an idiot like Janine. So I did so many walks during COVID, runs, skateboarding, like that is what got me through quarantine, was being able to go outside and run to the beach, walk to the beach, listen to a podcast, listen to a sermon. So these are actually two items that got me through that were my AirPod Pros and my fanny pack. Now, I know you're like, wow, Janine, fanny pack, so LA. But honestly, they just make sense. They really, really do. I would cross over my body and your hands are free. Like I hate carrying a purse. So this just made sense. So this was from Herschel and my AirPod Pros. Love the battery life and I love the noise canceling feature. Game changer, staple. Both these literally saved me, got me through quarantine on my daily walks, runs, biking, skateboarding, whatever. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so books wise, um, there was a lot of books I read this year. So it was honestly, it was really hard to pick, but some of the books I would start and then I wouldn't finish them. These are some of the books that I really enjoyed. So first of all, I mean, my Bible, literally, what would I have done without this during COVID? Like, I kid you not, needed this. This was my savior during COVID. God saved me through COVID. Like, truly, that's where I find my peace and my comfort in the midst of all the bull crap that happened this year. So this definitely got me through 2020 was my Bible and the Bible studies I did with you guys on Zoom with my Bi Tribe, link below. Next is this book. It's kind of a random one, but it's called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. The Classic Guide to Understanding the Opposite Sex. Now, I will say this book is a little outdated. It's an older book. It might have a little bit more of the gender norms. However, I think this... Pro okay, bye. This really provided me so much clarity on understanding men. Understanding what goes through their mind, how they think, how can I communicate with them, what do I say? I mean, and it also for men to read this too so they can understand how women are. So if you're dating somebody or married to someone, this book is staple. It will help you guys understand each other. And you can like now know like, oh, why did he not text back? Or why did he like 
need to be alone or why did he do this like this helps so much i finished this and i was like what an incredible book so definitely check this out the next one is atomic habits i've talked about this before i finally picked this up during covid and it helped me so much on how to be more effective and build good habits and break bad habits so that's what it is an incredible book very practical, logical, makes sense, easy to implicate in your life. So definitely check this one out if you are trying to be more efficient and effective in your life and break the bad habits and form better ones, whatever that might be. This book is incredible, so definitely check that out. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. Some of my favorite items that are found in the kitchen. Number one, if you watch my vlog channel, you already know brown rice cakes. <laughs> I would eat these almost every single day. If it weren't for these or banana pancakes, I probably wasn't eating. These are so good. They're like super low calorie, low carb, and they're just delicious. I would put almond butter, blueberries, strawberries, and some honey, and this was my go-to breakfast. Love these, they're from Trader Joe's. Definitely check them out. I promise you won't regret it. And I do toast them, so toast them as well. Next two drinks that I loved during COVID were my Celsius and the Zevias. I love anything sparkling, anything fizzy, sparkling. During quarantine, it was rough to find the motivation to want to work out, like very hard. Celsius are an energy drink and I love them. I've used these for now about two years and absolutely love their products. So these really helped me, like when I was feeling like down or I was like, I do not want to work out, boom. Chug a Celsius, she's ready to go. And the next one is Zevia. Now these are zero calorie soda, sodas, zero sugar, no artificial sweeteners, caffeine free. I discovered this flavor during COVID and loved it, would drink this all the time, would constantly go repurchase this. It's my favorite flavor. Honestly, heck, I'm just gonna open it right now. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Please go try this right now, please. Maybe you're trying to like break a habit of drinking too much soda. Zevia's great replacement, check it out. Okay, coffee wise, I've talked about these, but these two got me through quarantine. My, I upped my coffee game this year. So glad I did. So this is my um, French press and this is my frother, both off Amazon. My frother was an absolute staple game changer for quarantine because I wasn't going out and buying coffee anymore. So I was just making it at home. And these two made my coffee taste like magic. Like mama's home, she's pouring herself a glass. Like my mornings, I would literally go to bed on purpose so I, would, so I could drink coffee in the morning. Like I know that's psychotic, but it's what I did. So these will be linked down below, but if you want to up your game, at least get the frother. Like the, the French press, like if you have an, an espresso or whatever, I actually ditched my Keurig this year. Like I really don't use it anymore, but frother, you'll thank me later. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, watch my vlog channel, this comes no surprise to you. Tennis skirts. I have multiple ones from multiple different brands. I just really popped off with tennis skirts this year. I don't know what it was. I just love them. I loved going on walks with them. I loved working out in them. I love lounging in them. Like, I just think they're really freaking cute. And I will continue to wear them. <laughs> I love tennis skirts. So tennis skirts really were my thing in 2020. I will have my favorite ones linked down below. But two of them are, are from Fabletics actually. Like, look how cute. And they have pockets. So I had these from Fabletics. But I will have other ones linked down below for you guys as well. But tennis skirts really just were so comfy. And I don't know. I really find, I struggle to find shorts that I like on my thighs. And tennis skirts I feel like just look good on everybody. So these were just staple for me during 2020. So love these. Okay, and last but not least, matching lounge sets. Now those like just popped off during 2020 as well. All the tie dye, which I never really got into, but I definitely did get into matching sets. So these are from White Fox. I got some cute little matching sets. I'm actually wearing one right now. Yep, matching sets. Like I'm a fan. I just think they make so much sense and they're so cute. So I got these from White Fox Boutique. Super cute. The material is great and warm and cozy. And I also got like matching sweats that go with this as well. So these are also from White Fox Boutique. So I just loved the concept of a matching set. Like Fabletics had some, like I just love the idea of that. And I honestly like kind of want more. <laughs> All right, you guys, those are the products that got me through 2020. Like I said, I will be moving soon. So please stay tuned for moving vlogs, house tours, decorating, everything of that sort. I think that's gonna be really, really exciting. So check out my Instagram and my vlog channel for more of that. But yeah, 2020 was rough, but I am just praying and hoping that 2021 comes with more hope, hopefully, but never lose your faith and trust in God. He's always there for you guys. And he's truly what got me through, you know, 2020 and all the hard times. So never lose faith in that. Hope you guys will subscribe if you're new here and stay tuned for more content every single Friday. 
Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys.